I said a little while ago that one of the tests for Boris Johnson's government in terms of how radical they're going to be was on the BBC. Now, of course, I know the overwhelming majority of you, certainly on this channel, come to YouTube now for that alternative because as far as you're concerned, the BBC is just too far gone. You only have to look at the rise of the defund the BBC campaign, a really meteoric rise, to see that the public appetite for the licence fee is waning, to say the very, very least. But it looks, according to two separate reports I've now seen, that the government's plan to decriminalise non-payment of the BBC licence fee has been ditched, has been shelved, has been put aside. And of course, we've seen when it comes to who could have been the next BBC chairman, it very quickly went from uh, Charles Moore, a journalist who I certainly have a lot of time for, who actually on the BBC's own Question Time programme has uh, had a go at that anti-Brexiteer bias. We seem to have gone from Charles Moore relegated very quickly to mentioning uh, George Osborne as the potential next BBC chairman. I'm not a big fan of that idea. But seemingly when it comes to plans, uh, to the plans to decriminalise non-payment of the BBC licence fee, it looks like it has been shelved. I'm going to bring you all the very latest in this report, guys. But please start off by hitting the subscribe button and the bell. And of course, hit that thumbs up button as well. Would really appreciate it. Now, of course, one of the things I get to do on this channel, which, and thanks for watching, guys. I uh, really do appreciate you watching. Uh, one of the things I like doing here is that I get to talk about things that just don't get reported elsewhere. And just to give you the context of where we are in terms of the BBC, uh, there was an Ofcom report recently that got very, very little coverage indeed. Um, the Telegraph were the only other title that I saw that did uh, a real proper report on it. And some of the findings in it uh, are findings that really uh, show you that in terms of the people that are against the licence fee, oh, they are far from being some uh, right-wing fringe as some at the BBC might have you believe. And as I tweeted at the time, when you delved into this Ofcom report on the BBC, BBC now perceived as less impartial than ITV, than Sky, than Channel 4 or Channel 5 Ofcom report uh, found. In fact, the perception of impartiality when it comes to the BBC, they finished last out of the broadcasters included in the survey. And fewer than half, fewer than half now, of working class Brits now say the BBC provides impartial news. The Ofcom report found that impar BBC's impartiality score was down to 58%. By comparison, Sky News scored 69%. And as I said, uh, when you looked at the perceptions of the BBC as providing impartial news, only 49% now of working class Brits now say the BBC provides impartial news. 60% of middle class Brits say the same. So that's the context of where we are. That's the latest Ofcom report I've seen. I know we got a lot of platitudes about how the BBC's massively loved and all the rest of it. Well, I've just shown you the figures on the perception of impartiality. It's an absolutely shocking record. And so we heard, didn't we, that the government were gonna be radical on this. They were gonna look at the license fee, whether to decriminalize uh, non-payment of the BBC license fee. We even heard it was a done deal, quote, saying it was it was going to get whacked and all the rest of it. Well, Boris Johnson preparing to shelve plans to decriminalise non-payment of the BBC license fee, the Daily Telegraph can disclose. Ministers have delayed a decision to end the prosecution and imprisonment of people who do not pay the license fee until at least 2022, it is understood. Uh, the Telegraph saying the move will come as a relief to the BBC, which has claimed that decriminalisation could cost it £1 billion over five years and would inevitably require significant cuts if dissatisfied viewers opted to run the risk of a civil penalty and withhold their licence fee. The postponement, Telegraph report, signals the latest calling of hostilities between Number 10 and the BBC after the departure of Dominic Cummings and Lee Kane, who was the head of the Downing Street uh, media operation. The pair had advocated sweeping changes to the broadcast and refused to allow ministers to appear on political programmes, alleging left-wing bias. Well, I make him absolutely right on that. Hence why you're seeing channels like this grow. Hence why you're seeing next year GB News hopefully bring some balance in terms of the broadcast media. Now, the Telegraph also report that the decriminalisation of the licence fee could be revisited in 2022 when the current £157.50 pence level of the licence fee, the cost is also due to be reviewed. Now the postponement of this comes uh, despite official data showing nearly a third of women's convictions 
come from television license evasion. I mean, that is just absolutely shocking statistic. Women accounted for 74% of the 114,000 convictions for license fee evasion in 2019, up 3% since 2015, according to Ministry of Justice data published this month, uh, last month, I should say. That Again, that's the Telegraph. But there is a second report from The Sun as well. Plans to decriminalise non-payment of the annual TV licence are to be shelved. Ministers had proposed viewers who refused to cop up, cough up £157.50 should no longer face a criminal record, but such a move is not expected to be included in the government's response uh, next month to its consultation on future funding of the BBC. The news will upset Tory MPs, the Sun reports, who have campaigned for years for this to happen, but it'll be a relief to the Beeb who warned away, who warned taken away the penalty of a criminal offence would trigger a major rise in people not paying and blow a £1 billion hole in the corporation's finances over five years. Now, just to give, again, more context as to where we are with the BBC, and do let me know in the comments below, guys. Are you a fan of the BBC? Do you think the licence fee is good value for money? Would you pay it voluntarily? Well, Defund the BBC have actually done a poll with Savannah Comres that found uh, more Brits want to move to subscription model than keep the BBC licence fee. In a press release, they have said scrapping the, the BBC licence fee and replacing the compulsory £157.50 annual charge with a subscription model like Sky is the most popular option for reform of broadcasting funding, according to a new poll. The poll commissioned by Defund the BBC and conducted by Savannah Comrades found that 40% of respondents want a channels-based subscription model against 37% who favour the current system. Commenting on the poll, Rebecca Ryan, campaign director of Defund the BBC, said the British public want the licence fee to move to a subscription model that would mean people have the right to decide if they want access uh, to access BBC content or not. It's clear from this poll that there is a huge swathe of the population who do not feel the BBC's Christmas schedule is on par with what it should be, and many will be watching far less BBC content than they did last year. A major factor of this is undoubtedly the breadth of subscription choices in the form of Sky, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, which have a raft of on-demand content which appeals to people much more. She finishes by saying the BBC licence fee model is outdated. But the reports are at the moment that the government is indeed going to ditch plans to decriminalise the non-payment of the BBC licence fee. And as I said, this for me is one of those litmus tests for the government. Are we going to have a radical government that actually makes big changes, puts the outdated BBC compulsory licence fee out to pasture, or are we simply going to see more of the same for years to come? Personally, as viewers of this, channel will know the idea that there's a compulsory license fee I just think is so outdated it's ridiculous I've laid out the Ofcom report there surely the BBC license fee can't be around for too much longer but as I said for now it seems like the government aren't going to decriminalize non-payment the BBC license fee certainly not anytime soon let me know in the comments below guys what you make of all of this keen to hear your views on this and of course, if you've enjoyed this report, if you found it helpful and informative, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And of course, you can support my work here on the channel by hitting that join button. See the link in the top pinned comment to become a member and get that supporters badge next to your name. And of course, guys, thanks for watching.